good morning myself ashagla devi assistant professor in rohini college of engineering and technology today we are going to discuss about the subject cs8792 cryptography and network security in cryptography and network security in unit 4 we have the topic called mac so in this lecture we are going to discuss about mac so what is the outcome is on successful completion of this module the student should be able to explain the concept of mac that is message authentication code so what is mac mac is message authentication code it is a function of the message and the secret key that produces a fixed length value that serves as an authenticator so it is generated by algorithm so it's generated from the message plus the secret key normally if you want to generate a mac value means you have to generate it from the message as well as with the secret key that is mac is generated by using the formula that is mac is equal to c of k comma m where k is the key and m is the message so the message is nothing but it's a small fixed size block of data okay the mac achieves message on the negation so in this diagram they have given the explanation of that first we are having a message for that message you have to find out the mac value by using the key k and then you are going to combine the mac value as well as the message so in the receiver side you will get the message value as well as the mac that is that is represented as mac of k comma m then in the receiver side what we are going to do is we have already have the mac value which is sent by the sender and we have the message for the message once again find out the mac value compare both the mac values if both are equal means we can say it is a authenticated message and mac and encryption so the mac provides authentication but encryption can also provide authentication so why we have to go for mac it is normally sometimes only authentication is needed but sometimes we need more than authentication that is sometimes we need authentication to persist longer than the encryption process okay so at that time we can you go for this mac so normally we should know that a mac is not a digital signature so what are the properties of mac a mac is a cryptographic checksum so we can represent that as mac is equal to c k of m where c is mac computation k is the key and m is the message so it is a, it uses the variable length message m and it uses the secret key k and it you and it produces a fixed size authenticator and it performs many to one function that is it potentially many messages have same mac but it's finding these needs to be very difficult next is keyed hash functions as mac next we are going to discuss why this keyed hash functions are used in mac because the hash functions are generally faster and the crypto hash function codes are widely available that's why we are using the hash function along with mac and uh, normally how we use this the keyed hash value is equal to hash of key slash message where message is the message block key is the encryption key value so next we are going to discuss about hmac algorithm it is a hash based message authentication code developed in 1996 it is specified as internet standard rfc 2104 it uses cryptographic hash function in combination with the secret key so any hash function we can use either you can use md5 sha1 rapmd algorithm or whirlpool algorithm hmac md5 or hmac sha1 hmac rapmd 160 or hmac whirlpool algorithm this hmac sha1 and hmac md5 are widely used in ip security and tls protocols we need to see some of the popular hash functions first one is the message digest this md5 is a very popular algorithm it's a one it's a 128 bit hash function it is adapted by internet standard rfc 1321 and it uh, comprises of the following family of hash functions that is md2 md4 md5 and md6 so it is mostly used in software world for it provides better integrity for the transferring of files next is secure hash function sha 
The family of Shaw function consists of SHA0, SHA1, SHA2 and SHA3. SHA1 is the mostly used Shaw algorithm that is it's a very famous Shaw algorithm and it's employed in several widely used applications. And next is RIP EMD. It is an acronym of RACE Integrity Primitive Evaluation Message Digest. So this set of hash function which is designed by the open research community. And the last one is the Whirlpool algorithm which gives you 512 bits of hash function. It is derived from the modified version of Advanced Encryption Standard AES. And what are the major applications of hash function? There are two direct applications of hash function based on its cryptographic principles. Um, first one is it is mainly used for password storage and the next is for checking the data integrity. So next is CMAC that is cyber based MAC. It is a hashless MAC. It uses an encryption algorithm. Either it uses DES or AES algorithm to generate MAC based on same idea as cipher block chaining. So it compress the result to size of the single block. Unlike encryption, it's normally in the encryption we are not going to compress the data. Here it compresses the result to size of the single block. 